Hey guys, it's Luna. Today I thought, you know, I feel disgusting. I feel like I haven't gotten enough sleep lately. My skin, my eyes just feel weird. My hair feels weird. You know, I don't really have places to go. You know, I'm not in school. The only really verified sure things that I have to do is teach Mondays and Tuesdays. You know, I never put on makeup or do anything. I just kind of stay in sweats all day. And I'm so over that. You guys know I love to dress up and get ready and I wanna feel good and I wanna feel fresh. So <laughs> that's what we're doing today. It's my sister's birthday today and she has a birthday dinner. So we're gonna get ready for that. I asked you guys on my Instagram to ask me some questions. You know, any life updates you guys wanna know. We're gonna start with makeup, I think hair, outfit, everything. Hello, get ready with me. Chit chat, get ready with me. Bringing him back. Here we go. Let's start off with this one since it's kind of the biggest change that came on my channel and that is that I am a teacher now, a dance teacher. How's your job as a ballet teacher going so far? And for this question, I will be using the Tarte First Step Prep Moisture Reset Cream. I am now a dance teacher. Um, which is pretty crazy. I teach at my studio that I grew up at. Um, I teach three classes. I teach jazz, a lyrical, and a ballet. I was asked to teach by my director. I was really, really honored to get the opportunity to teach. I've done my studying, you know, I've done a lot of research. And I think I know a thing or two about doing ballet and, you know, lyrical, jazz, all of that. Um, and it's amazing. I'm having so much fun with it. I'm using the Bioderma Eye Cream. And what I've learned so far, um, just from the first week of teaching, teaching jazz and contemporary is definitely more fun and easygoing, you know? I don't know how to explain it, but also like the girls are allowed to laugh and smile and talk and sometimes, you know, they're allowed to have reactions to stuff. Whereas when I teach ballet, like they're trained to be very quiet and strict and not smiling. Like, so from the first week I taught ballet, I was like, oh my God, they hate me. Like did not get any response. I'm like, wait, I'm not supposed to, you know? It's been really fun. I love it. I'm using Clinique Moisture Surge Spray. I'm using the Stretch Concealer by Glossier next. Another big question I get is, um, am I still dancing? And the answer is yes, just not as intensely as I was last year. I'm not a student anymore, you know? So I kind of just drop in and take classes whenever I want. It's more of just a little hobby side thing for me right now. Um, it's not my main focus. I'm actually doing a show, just a little gig um, with my studio. We're doing like a little reprise of Camelot that you guys know I did if you saw that video. Um, and I'm just dancing. I'm still, you know, on point doing that stuff, just not every single day. By the way, using this Anastasia contour stick. I have to say I've really enjoyed living life on my own terms and not being tied down every single day that I had to take a class. You know, I'm, I finally feel free um, and I feel like I'm really living out my teenage life. Like throughout high school, I was so strict. You know, I was in ballet every day and now I, I'm finally not being so strict on myself. Um, and I'm really just enjoying life. I've never been so happy. I like when the decision is up to me. I almost feel more motivated when it's up to me um, and I enjoy it way more. Someone says, how are you and your siblings so close? Like, how do you maintain that relationship? For this, I'm using this Eclipse highlighter in the color Luna. So my siblings and I have always had a pretty close relationship. I couldn't tell you why or why not, you know, but I do look at my friends and their relationships with their siblings and it's so sad to me that they're not as close. Um, but there are a lot of people that are. I just think that for the circumstances that we dealt with, with our parents' divorce and all that, um, it really brought us together. And I love my siblings. They're my everything, literally my everything. They literally made me who I am. I would not be me at all without them. Even at an old age, and you realize now that you regret not having that, it's never too late to start, you know, connecting with your sibling. It's truly one of the most important bonds in my life. For me, going through life knowing that I have these two people that will be there for me always, no matter what, um, and support me no matter what, makes me feel stable and helps me focus on what I need to do, almost, you know? Glossier Boy Brow in 
clear. I just did my eyebrows with the Anastasia thing. Next question is, are you moving out soon? So as you guys know, the plan was that my mom and I were going to move closer into LA. I can work from anywhere. My mom can work from anywhere. Might as well have a change, you know? That was supposed to happen right after summer and my kitchen is under construction. And until that's done, we can't move out. We're just kind of waiting. We're house hunting a lot right now using the Huda, Huda Beauty palette. Okay, next question. Someone says, do you still feel the same now about sex and dating as you did in your last update vid? I don't remember what I said in my last update vid. However, I'm sure it was somewhere along the lines of that I never had the desire to do that, that I'm not really attracted or like I genuinely thought I was asexual. Um, and I struggled with it a lot just throughout high school. I felt like, why does everybody want this except for me? I think a big part of that was that I was dealing with so much, you know, with my parents and just life in general. There was a lot of pressure on me that that was not at the top of my list. I also think it was a lot of insecurity. I couldn't even love myself. So how would I allow someone else to love me? I didn't feel worthy. So, so insecure. That was a big cause of my stress and anxiety. Just the fact that I could never imagine myself feeling loved or feeling in love with someone or something or I just never thought I would be a romantic person in any sense and it really scared me. I am happy to say that I don't feel that way anymore. I'm relieved to say that maybe, I guess. I just think it's really an age thing and a circumstance thing. I am so happy and finally secure with myself that I'm finally allowed to let someone, you know, even just think I'm beautiful or call me beautiful. I could never allow that if I didn't love myself first. So I think that was a huge step for me, finally feeling secure with my body and just everything in general, myself, letting go of all insecurity. I think everyone has a different schedule and some people are late bloomers like me and some aren't. Um, and that's totally fine. I think a big worry for me too was that it, I kept getting older and I kept not having experience that everyone else had and it was such a big thing in my mind like oh my god this is so embarrassing like this guy's gonna think I'm so immature and you have to find someone especially find someone that doesn't care about that not someone that doesn't care about it but someone that doesn't that doesn't affect the way that they feel about you you know and if they make that a problem in your relationship then like, guess what he or she is not the right one for you Okay, I just did eyeliner. I'm curling my lashes and then doing mascara and then we're done. That being said, everyone asks, relationship, do you have a boyfriend, dating, da la la. I don't know guys, that's for you to decide. I'm using this Snap Scara by Maybelline. It's really, really good. Okay, that's the makeup look. Um, I've been really into eyeliner lately. Let's move on to outfit. I don't know what I'm wearing yet, but let's see what we can put together. Outfit time, my favorite part. I'm so excited to say that this video is actually sponsored by Princess Polly. You guys know I've talked about them in the past. I literally wear their clothes all the time. Whenever someone asks me what I'm wearing, the answer is literally always Princess Polly. It's kind of like a long-term joke with me and my siblings and my friends. Like, they ask me where it's from, like, Princess Polly. This little romper is actually from Princess Polly. It's so cute. I'm obsessed. You guys, I love them. I swear by all their clothes. They're so cute. And they're helping me dress for this little get ready with me. Princess Polly actually has free express shipping, which is two to three days, on all you US orders over 70 bucks. Princess Polly also offers afterpay to all US customers. I'm gonna show you some outfits I put together on Princess Polly. And lucky for you guys, if you use my discount code XOLUNA, displayed here also in the description, you can get 20% off site-wide. Let me show you my items. But again, visit the description box for all information. XO Luna, Princess Polly, I love you guys. So I'm going to her birthday dinner, so it's somewhat fancy, I guess. The first thing is this dress. It's so beautiful. It's almost, I like, I had to look at it closely. It's like a leopard print almost, but it's like mint green. Um, the skirt like poofs out. It's so flattering. I'm in love with this dress. And kind of keeping with like the Western theme, I got these cowboy boots. Um, you guys know I love country. I love country music. Cowboy anything is everything to me. These are so cozy. I think I'd pair those with the green dress. I have this super cute little brown sweater dress um, and flares out. It's kind of like disco vibes to me, the bell bottom sleeve. I think it's so cute, um, but oh, I'm obsessed with this. It's so fall. If you guys know Lennon Stella, she's a singer and I've been following her since she did Nashville with her little sister like forever. She wears these boots on her tour all the time and I have been trying to find them everywhere. 
um, and they are Princess Polly. Super, like, these boots are made for walking, you guys. Like, these are my new staple, like, black boot. Um, I would definitely wear these with that little dress. I think that would look so cute. And, like, a headband, maybe? Ooh, vibe. Okay, it is turning into fall, summer to fall. Um, California is still a little bit hot, but it's time to wear sweaters, you guys. I don't care. I feel like this past year it's rained a lot more in California. Maybe it's just me, um, but I bought this raincoat. You guys, look. You guys know how I feel about leopard print and cheetah print, and this is so chic. Like, have you seen a chicer raincoat? I don't really know why I'd wear a raincoat today, but... It could be a vibe. I also have this dress, but I've been wearing this dress every day. So again, thank you, Princess Polly. Um, I'm gonna put these on and see which one I decide to do. Um, again, use my discount code XOLUNA for 20% off site-wide. Thank you, Princess Polly, for sponsoring. I love you guys way too much. Let's put these on and see what happens. Okay, outfit number one. It's so cute, you guys. I'm obsessed. Um, I don't know if it's her birthday vibe, though. I feel like this is more a brunch day vibe, but... It's so cute. Oh, this is gonna be hard. I need to give the other one a chance though. Let's try it. These boots are the best thing ever. Ah, oh, that's the left foot. That is totally the left foot. Boot one is done. Okay, boot two. Let's do this. Okay, outfit number two. I love this little dress. I think it's so cute. These boots are actually ridiculous. I'm obsessed with them. Headbands are so in lately and I'm kind of loving it. People wear them like up here. How do they do that? Does this look good on me? I can't tell. I can't tell if this looks really good or really bad. No. <laughs> no. Ah. I think it's cute. Okay, I feel like this is the outfit. I don't know, I feel like it's more of a dinner vibe. And then if I get cold, I can put this on. Oh, hey. This is a full fit right now. Princess Polly, thank you for dressing me. Again, discount code in the description, XOLUNA, 20% off site wide. Um, I'm gonna go to this dinner party now, but I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.